Hello to all. In this video, I will be explaining relaxation oscillator which is designed for 1 kilohertz frequency. For this, we use the formula F is equal to 1 by 2 RC. For this, we choose C is equal to 0 0.01 microfarad and calculation we yield the resistor value as 50 kilo ohm. So let us first do the simulation for the design and the design of this is explained in the description below. So we need uh, the following components. We need a 741 op amp. So we type 741 with the groups as all groups. We have the component there. Place the component. We need the supply here. So I'll choose DC power with all the sources. Power source, we have DC power. And I place two power supply for 741 hour pump. We need 12 volts power supply to be given. And then we need a ground. Have the ground been placed in its the right place and choose the basic from the group. We need the resistors. I need uh, three resistors. So we place three resistors by selecting them and clicking on OK. We'll change the value of the resistors as well. And then I need the capacitor. I select the capacitor and click OK. Now we have placed all the components that are needed for our relaxation oscillator. Click on the close button. Now I would like to place the inverting terminal up here. So let us flip this vertically. So I have my negative terminal here. Then the pin number 4 is connected to the negative supply and pin number 7 is connected to the positive supply. The other end of both the supply need to be grounded. So I connect them to the ground. This is a 12 volt supply. Positive of this is connect grounded. And the other end of uh, the second supply is also grounded. Now I have a capacitor. The capacitor has to be connect, uh, connected to an um, inverting terminal. So I place my capacitor very near to the inverting terminal. And then one end of the capacitor is connected to the negative terminal. The other end of the capacitor is grounded. Since we have chosen the capacitor value to be 0 0.01 microfarad, so we change it to 0 0.01 and we have to type small u and click OK. We need a resistor which is of 50K and that should be connected to the negative terminal. So I change the value of this resistor to 50K. I say OK. And this resistor has to be connected to the negative terminal that is inverted terminal and the other end of this is connected to the pin number 6. Now we flip these two resistors by rotating it clockwise. And then I change the value of R2 and R3. R2 will change it to 35K. I'll say OK. And the other resistor will change it to 30K. Click OK. Connect these two resistors. One end of my resistor R2 should be connected to pin number 6. And the junction of this should be con connected to the non-inverting terminal. The other end of my R3 is grounded. So our connection is ready with the value of the resistor being designed for 1 kilohertz 
let us check the output by uh, selecting the oscilloscope and place the oscilloscope one the channel a will connect it to pin number 2 and channel b will connect it to pin number 6 then we ground the other end now we have the circuit ready let us see whether we have the charging and discharging of the capacitor which is going to help in generating the op amp a square wave and it should be of 1 kilohertz as we have designed so we click on run and double click on the oscilloscope right so let it generate and now i click on pause button change the time scale division so you have a square wave which is generated by the charging and discharging of the capacitor which is going to do it rapidly and produces a square wave. The RC time constant which we have determined by using our frequency of 1 kilohertz. So let us cross check uh, whether we, we are getting uh, 1 kilohertz frequency. Now uh, we have T2 minus T1 as you can see it is 1.081 milliseconds. So when you have F is equal to 1 by T it is almost equal to 1 kilohertz. So we, whatever we have uh, designed we have obtained the square wave being generated. In this way you can simulate a relaxation oscillator for 1 kilohertz frequency. Thank you for watching this video.